Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on this look that I'm wearing right now. So if you'd like to see how I did this, please keep on watching. Right, first I'm gonna go in with Olivia Bell in Blue Wish and I'm gonna put that all through my crease. And I'm not taking it into my inner corner, I'm dragging it out because I want it to be more of a, you'll see when I do it. I don't know how to describe it. But when I cut the crease, I want it to be like blunt there. I don't know how you explain it. To blend out that into a to blend that out and to add a transition, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Press Shadow in Lost and Found, which is just a pale blue. Anyway, and what I do is I place it above Blue Wish. And then buff it into it. Just repeat all those steps until you get the colour intensity that you want. Um, it doesn't matter how many layers you do or how many times you go back in and blend until you're happy with the colour payoff. Obviously if you're in a rush I probably wouldn't spend as long as I am. To deepen that up I'm going to go in with the Melchior Shadow in Escape. It's just a dark navy. And with that same brush that I've just used for the navy, I'm actually going to go in with Let's Do It by Colourpop. It's just a black shadow. Just underneath where I put that navy. A lot of it will be cut away when I do the cutting. I just want to deepen it up, but the navy isn't deepening it up enough for me. Right, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to actually cut my crease now. This is quite a tedious job because you have used such dark colour, but persevere with it, it's worth it. So it's going to end up somewhat like this. So you can see... Um, I've straightened it here because I want it to be more of a shoop and then round. To set that lid, I'm actually going to go in with this shade here. This is called Rise Up by Olivia Bell and it's a bright yellow. And then taking a really, really thin brush, like I can't tell you how thin this brush is, it's like got five hairs. This is the uh, M515 from Morphe. I'm going to take a mixture of the dark navy and the black shade and I'm just going to go over that edge because I feel like I've lost it with the yellow. So going in with um, Lost and Found by Colourpop again, I am just going to clean up that um, where the yellow meets the blue and... I go in at an angle, so I am kind of overlapping the yellow, but it's to blend in the pale blue and the yellow. Then I'm going to go in with Blue Wish by Olivia Bell. So I'm going to go in with Blue Wish first under my eyes and buff that all in. Then I'm going to take a little bit of that pale blue from Colourpop Lost and Found and I'm just going to um, lightly blend those edges out. Then taking a more dense flat brush, this is, this is the Morphe M508 brush. I'm going to go in with the navy shade, uh, which is Escape from Melchior, and the black shade, which is Let's Do It from Colourpop. Um, navy, and bl navy and black, that's all you need to know really. So I'm going to go in with a bit of the navy first and I'm going to place that close to my lash line. I'm going to sort of drag it all the way across just so it merges into that um, bluish shade. But then when I go in with the black, I'm just going to keep that to the outer edge and blend it in with... Um, the shadow here. So I'm just going to go in with some yellow um, eyeliner. This is M40 from Makeup Forever. I'm just going to bang that in my waterline. Right, and in that gap that I've done there, I'm actually going to go in with the Colourpop Now and Zen shade. So it's white, but it's got a gold reflect to it, which I think will go well with the yellow. 
I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my face, put on mascara and lashes, and I'll be back with the final result. So guys, that's the finished look. I had such a nightmare matching them up. So if they look like they don't match, that's because they don't. Remember, eyes are not even sisters anymore, they're neighbours, so they don't have to match apparently. Um, yeah, and I'll know for next time. Last time I practiced this look, I only did it on the one eye. So, and I didn't do this, I did a similar one that's on my Instagram. Um, but I did this sort of like action here and I didn't do it on both eyes, so it was... It was only after I'd finished that I was like, oh my God, I didn't check. Um, and I tried to correct it, as you can see here, but that went wrong as well. So we're just gonna roll with it. And if we only look at the one eye, I look like I know what I'm doing. So uh, this is the finished look, obviously, because that's why I'm talking about it. Uh, if you have liked this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of this look and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.